<laughs> the, this word, temple, is N-A-O-S. Now, if it was going to be a physical temple, it would have been H-E-I-R-O-N. Hera. That's the physical structure. Well, he specifically gave up underhanded move. And we looked at it from the English version. But we didn't do this due diligence by studying it and, and uncovering it. Not going to find out this is the naos. Yeah. Yeah. This is the same temple that Jesus said when he was contrasting in John 2. He said, He's gonna, you can destroy this temple in three days I'm going to raise it up. Mm -hmm. yes. It's the naos. He said, you can destroy this temple, Heron, in 19. He said, this is a physical temple. But this temple, yeah. what you were talking about, his body. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's the same word. We can't revert back to a physical building if it has a connotation for spiritual things. Because he already told us. Paul wrote the Corinthians and said, we compare spiritual things with what? Spiritual things. So we don't need natural things to tell us when the end is coming. We need spiritual things Amen. to confirm spiritual things. That is the principle that Paul, with a legitimate prophetic voice, apostolic voice, has told us to do as a paradigm in place, mm -hmm. that if you want to discern the working of the Holy Spirit, you have to look at spiritual things. Mm -hmm. uh, who opposes the exalted himself above all that is God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself to, that he is God, not a physical man. It's the thing that's been in the temple for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's those high things that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. Those things that want to bring by spirit, word or letter, to cause us to be soon shaken in our mind. You understand what I'm saying? Am I talking? I know it's a little deep. It's just a little baby. A little, a little deeper. You know, it ain't Gerber's, but it, 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 it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. So that he is God sitting in the temple, showing himself that he is God. So there's some things. Let me just put it out there so I can move on. There's some things that are in our temple that wants to parade as God. Yeah. It has the form yeah. of godliness, yeah. Yeah. but it denies the power thereof. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you forever learning yes. and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Yeah. That is the thing that sits in your temple, that sits on the inside of you. Telling you I can put on my religious face, I can put on the cosmos, I can be cosmetic, I can look external, I can adorn myself, I have an outward adornment, but never the inner man of the heart. That's what religion to do. It neutralizes the God's capacity to change your inward man. Religion don't have no requirement or prerequisites for you to change. It just addendums. It's just giving you something more to sedate you for the necessary adjustments that need to be done. Y'all looking at me all misty, right? Y'all, y'all all right? Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I got a mixture. <laughs> I look like a potpourri. What is that the word? Potpourri, potpourri or something? Potpourri. potpourri yeah. That's a, yeah see? Y'all thought I was smart. So the end of God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Verse five. Remember you not that when I was with you, yet, yet with you, I told you these things. Go ahead. And know you, and now you know what would hold it that he might be revealed where? In his time. And most of the sensationist churches and a few of us uh, uh, charismatic Pentecostal churches believe that the Holy Spirit is going to be, they, they use that to say that's the Holy Spirit that's holding everything back. And then once we get raptured up and the Holy Spirit with us, then the man that sinned the mystery of iniquity is going to show up. Boy, the Lord help us all. And that the Jews, 144,000 Jews over in Revelation 14 going to do more in the earth than we ever did. Mm -hmm. Devil is a lie. That's why eschatology is important. It is very, because the three blind mice what made us anemic to the kingdom. You know, the three blind minds. Schofield, Darby, and Larkin. Larkin and his charts. 
I feel like the Acts 19 when Paul said, let's burn this baby. <laughs> we need to burn that stuff, but it's, been, it's, it's, it's in the church. Moody Bible Institute is full of it. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes right up. It's a strong base mm -hmm. for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. And we sitting around here waiting on something to happen in our future. It's happening now. It ain't happening in my future. It's happening now. Yes. When he say now is acceptable time, now is faith. Come on now. So now is acceptable to me. Yes. Now? Yes. And, it's just, and now, you know, more <laughs> with older that he might be revealed in his time. So it's the man of sin that misery and iniquity. That's what's holding it. I'm going to show you. Verse 7. Some of y'all won't crucify me. For the mystery of iniquity doing the ready work. So it ain't the Holy Spirit that's what's holding it. Am I right? Look at this, y'all. Four. He even goes right into it once. See, yeah, we got this. We got chapters and all that, but this is a letter. So he said, for the mystery of iniquity doing the ready work. When? How? When? What? The mystery of iniquity has always been at work. It is the man of sin. It is the law of our former birth. That's the mystery of iniquity. It's the Adamic man. But the man, so see, this is the thing. We, we're not a duplex. <laughs> What's left is an unrenewed mind. It's not we got two natures. It ain't, it's not, we got, and that's what they talk, we got two natures. It's not two natures. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with residual. Yes. Leftovers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Adam, Adam left the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just, that wasn't going to good. <laughs> it's like Elvis left the building. Okay, don't worry about that. Adam left the building, so what we got to deal with is a, a, the woman is still in the house. Mm -hmm. It's an unrenewed mind. Mm -hmm. The mind, the will, and the emotions. That is where the mystery of iniquity resides. When she, oh, can, I, can I just speak what I got in my heart? Okay. Mm -hmm. She wanted to just say that I'm, uh, I'm no widow. Oh, wow. <sighs> Remember, it said in the scripture, that I'm no widow. Yeah. Revelation 18, I'm no widow. She said, but she's basically saying, my old man ain't, ain't dead. Ain't dead. Yeah. 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 Huh? In other words, Adam's still living. Mm -hmm. I'm not married to a new husband. I haven't been espoused to, to one husband. Mm -hmm. I'm not joined to Christ. This is baby stuff, y'all. This is, this is soteriology 101. So the mystery of iniquity do already work. It's when we don't allow the word of God to have preeminence in our life. That is how our refusal to comply is the litmus test that the mystery of iniquity is at work. When we violate our conscience, when we disallow or disavow the principles that are set forth in scriptures, the mystery of iniquity is at work. And see, it's a mystery because you can't notice it on the surface. It's an internal condition. That's why reformation is so important. Reformation is not a redecoration of the, out, the outward man. Reformation is for the new man to, to put on a new identity. Uh, only he now let it, will let until he be taken out of the way. Boy, y'all gonna get saved because I never taught this here. I'm gonna teach it this morning. And it's legitimate. I'm gonna, you can go look it up in your Strongs. Strongs and Google are very close cousins to the guy. <laughs> Come on. Am I right? I'm just being honest. If you Google it, if we learned that from Dr. Hughes, Google it. That's all he said, right? Google it. <laughs> Taken out of the way. It's not as if I was sitting next to Leonard, and I just grabbed him and took him out of the way. It's not like you're trying to remove somebody out of position. Take it out of the way. Write this down. This is, this, I'm going to give you all the clues. You ain't going to have to study it. Oh, you can if it's your own self. But it, 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 in, in the Greek, it's the number 1096. And this is what Strong said, not the three blind mice, mm -hmm. not Grant Jeffries, Hal Lindsey, 
John Hagee, mm -hmm. where all the big bucks are. Because mm -hmm. what they say is God. Mm -mm. Because they are the voice of the masses. Mm -mm. Yeah. Little old me in this little old spot. <laughs> Anyhow. It's the word. This is the actual Greek word. G-I-N-O. G-I-N-O. The word taken out is G-I-N-O. Three more letters. M-A-I. And you might get saved after this. Okay. So we, it's not verse 6 that only he will let till he be taken out of the way. I believe it is. It's not necessarily talking about the Holy Ghost. It's the mystery of iniquity that that verse 6 is talking about. Right? But in verse 7, the word taken out is to become. Whoa, it's not a removal. It's to become. Wow. It is to come into existence. Oh my God. I want to weep for all the for all the ages of uh, poor decadence that's been released to the body of Christ. Just the le high levels of ignorance that's been forced to us and we never search it out. It was there all the time. And so it's not necessarily a removing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a becoming. Yeah. Mm. Come on, come on. Uh, Amen. It means yeah. to become. It means to come into existence. It means, check this out, to arise and appear in history. Amen. To come upon the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yes! So you mean until he appear or until he become. Mm 